Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is going to be a good Vic, one. Vic, 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 Vic. My goat is on the setup. For real. That guy is my goat. He's my goat too. No matter how many times you beat Degar, ladies and gentlemen, he won. Is it F Smash Wait? Yeah. He's my goat, and he's got a big sword. Wow. What? Do you want to commentate? Okay. You can commentate if you want, if you can manage both. So is that too much? You sure? He doesn't want to talk to me. Dang. <laughs> you can come if you want. I'm really, I'm really fine. Like, honest. If you want to. It seems like you really want to commentate this set. You really don't want to. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Come yeah. commentate. Yeah. Something out. Can you do it? Uh, yep. Let's go. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Yeah, let's enough go. Of, enough of that freaking Sindokus. Yeah. We got Muscat and Decker. I'm them. so excited for this. We're in the presence of greatness right now. What, Dave or Moscow Bo? Both. Two yeah. absolute legends of their respective communities. Oh, 100%. How long has Moscow been playing? He's older than time itself, but not as old as Decker. All right, Dave is part of time. <laughs> yeah, he invented time in many ways. Ooh. That was good. And Dave is the uh, the master of the tried and true when it comes to this matchup. Oh, 100%. Dave. And you never count him out. I've seen him fo mess up Fox too. Like Goody, when Goody was really hot. Just like... Yeah. My money's on Dave. I don't know though, because I also think Muscat, uh, one of the most consistent players ever to do it. Oh yeah, my, he's my he's probably my favorite fox to watch in, in Australia. That's insane to say. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but, like excluding Joshua because he's a bloody Canadian now. Yeah. But yeah. like out of all the foxes, yeah, he's so I always find him really interesting. He's really patient. He has an interesting style. You know what he's really good at? Watch the wave shine. Yes. Yes. I'll say it. Yes. It's like an easy, easy skill to think that you've like learned and never fuck up. But he is like the most consistent at the basics. Yeah. Uh, and the basics are what you use the most. Exactly. The fundies. It's like cool. You can five. Uh, you can um, quadruple shine. Nice. But can you wait? You know, shuffle. Oh yes, come on, Dave. And this is a matchup that Muscat has a lot of experience in, but um. Are there many masks in um, SA anymore, though? Because you've left. Yeah, exactly. Maybe not recent experience. When's the last time we played a MARP IRL? Like, you know, prob like proper MARP. I, I mean, he, like, travels to most of the state tournaments. We always practice together when, uh, when he is in the state. That's true. He's doing pretty, like... I don't know. I'm going to rely on you for the actual um, game inside, though. So you're going to have to, like, tell me how the game's progressing as a game put, like... Because you know this matchup. You can't, you can't do the tried and true against yeah. Dave. You can't do the basics um, and expect him to just work. Because Dave's like whole deal is like hard covering the obvious stuff. Yes. And uh, Musket, unfortunately, um, he's very good at knowing the most direct route to victory at all times. Mm. Which means it's an interesting uh, clash of styles. Dave like very anti-meta and Musket very meta. <laughs> so I always feel like I feel like Dave's a real um, milestone in terms of becoming a good player. Because it means you have to like think about you actually can think about how to get around his like well, okay I can't do my things. What can I do? Exactly. You know what I mean? So when I see a player can beat Dave, I'm like, okay, that's someone who's getting really good. Whoa! That was such a pull out, oh my god. It was a call out, but I kind of feel like he didn't really know what Muscat was going to oh do. He was, just, he was just like, I'm going to F-Smash you. He was just like, this will cover like five things. That's what you have to do sometimes. Yeah. I, think, I think another thing that like, people miss is like, sometimes you have to go like, yeah, there's ten things they can do. I'm going to cover six of them. 
I always remember the tipping hit on SD at uh, yeah. Miles Warehouse 2 where he backs through the edge. SD tried to jump back specifically to get around the tipper. Yeah. And he took the earliest, like, desperation tipper and killed it 5% with oh. him. And SD just walked out of the venue. Straight out of the venue? Yeah. Just left? Yeah. And Muscle's recoveries are super desperate. Right he's doing dead play recoveries. Yeah, he looks like he's looking scrambled. He looks yes. like he's been playing Path of Exile too much. I'll say. Watching who? Playing who? Uh, Path of Exile. Who? Path of Exile. What's, oh, is that, oh, that's what I was like. <laughs> I was like, I thought that was a, like a player. Nah. Um, what's Path of Exile? It's a, a video game that Musket and, and myself are quite fond of, but uh, it's very. Uh, not melee? No. What sort of game is it? Don't worry about it, man. Ah, I'll ask you later. <laughs> it's a time sink. Yeah, I, I'm trying to avoid time sinks. Yeah. I mean, melee already takes enough time. Yeah. And life takes time. time. Life. All we have is time, man. Don't yeah. forget that. Most valuable thing we have by far. Except for, like, uh, gold. No. I reckon there's a lot of billionaires out there in the world who would happily trade a lot of their gold for just a couple more, a couple more like years. Yeah, but consider, have you ever worked a job where you traded time for gold? That's true. Yeah, but I'm talking about, it depends, I guess it depends on your uh, position, right? Yeah. Well, like gold's worth what, like two thousand dollars a pound or something. Exactly. So a pound of gold is worth like the yeah, like the minimum minimum wage, like hundred hours. <laughs> You know, I went to the museum in Adelaide. Uh, I love that museum. Like one with the big two squid. Two One with the big squid. Yeah, big squid. Yeah, that goes all the way up the elevator. Um, but they had a little thing that said like one kilogram of water, and it was like a cube, like yeah. one liter. And then it was like one kilogram of gold, and it was a tiny cube. I didn't realize gold was so heavy. Gold, yeah, it's immensely heavy. It's also quite soft. Exactly. Yeah. Soft and dense. Yeah. And Decker, yeah, Musket doesn't really look uh, super warmed up or prepared for the... Yeah, no. Because Decker will, like, he'll read you, but he'll also just put a bunch of execution tests. Yeah, it's like, can you do this? Oh, no. Haha, yeah. <laughs> you die. Oh, he's getting so oh, hard. He's just looking yeah. King esque right now. Reading the jumps, yeah. top platform juggling. He's seeing a pair of glasses and his hair falling out right now. Yeah. Um... Decker like doesn't do all the stuff that all the new masks do. Like he, he won't edge cancel a dare on top platform, no. which I think Musk was waiting for. He just like slowly side beat down and back edge. <laughs> and it's like he's so unfazed by whatever the meta is. Yeah, he's just like, okay. How to what... do his Decker stuff. And he's great at it. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. Did the Mar Fitus? Oh no. Yeah, very owned. Um, check out there. I did not update the scores, that said. That's my bad. That was brutal. <laughs> Will you stick around? Yeah, it depends. I probably, yeah, I mean, I'd, I didn't mean to kick Syndicus off. I think Cindy wanted to go. I think he wanted the break. Are you wave one or two? two? I am not entering. Oh, yeah, you quit. Yeah. Disappointed. How come? Uh, People at home want to know.